freezing like i could feel my lips going blue <laughs> which is so weird because it's so warm today but my body is really really playing me so we're just rolling with this i've actually just come on which is literally the worst timing so my mood is like a little bit flatlining i'm not feeling like physically great so you know amazing start to a tuesday i'm just hoping this mink green tea is gonna magically solve everything you know but you know what is great timing this morning i am gonna start my beauty prep in preparation for ibiza and hopefully that is gonna make me feel 100 times better because there's nothing quite like putting some tan on when you're not feeling amazing. I actually got up quite early this morning, went for a walk. I've just come back, taken off my SPF and all of my skincare because I wanted to have fresh skin. I'm gonna tan my face as well so that everything is like matching, matching up, which it hasn't for a while now. If you watched the last vlog, you'll know my face was not looking great because I wanted to fully take all of the face tan off, exfoliate it all off and start with a fresh base. So yeah, things have been looking a bit ropey because my face did not match the rest of my body, but it's all good because we are starting with like a clean slate. I did do a layer yesterday, so we're not starting completely from scratch today, but I wanted to build it up over the course of a few days so that you guys can see over the course of this vlog, like how it all develops. Side note, this video will contain a paid for integrated partnership with Saint Tropez, who you guys will know I love and I work with all the time. And I actually need to crack on and get this tan on my body because I have tennis booked for this evening. So I need to get it on, let it develop, rinse it off in time for tennis this evening, which I'm so excited about. I'm really hoping. So you're not going very far, you're only going for one day. The time is very similar, blah, blah. I'm not going to suggest it, but I'm really hoping Ryan might suggest getting a Nando's after because where we play tennis, there's like a Nando's right across the road. It's amazing. Yes, I do strategically book tennis in that specific place in the hopes that that will be suggested after tennis. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, aside from that, no other updates. I'm excited to get my beauty prep done. There's actually nothing better than when you're not feeling your best, but it's a beauty prep kind of day. I got all of my like admin and stuff. Loads of my to-do list basically that was gonna stretch over the week done yesterday. So I can really like take my time with this today. I'm really excited and hopefully just gonna feel like a lot better by the end of the day. Sometimes giving yourself like a little pamper just really does like make all the difference. Anyway, I really need to stop chatting and get this tan on my body because otherwise I'm gonna have to go play tennis with it on and that is just that's really not gonna end well I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing quickly before I change out of it this little set is from Ala yoga switching it up a bit this week I actually love this white set I've had it for maybe like four or five months now maybe honestly I have no sense of time anymore so <laughs> I could be wrong but I think roughly a few months and I absolutely love this one it's really really cute I think I'm gonna wear it later for tennis as well because I think it would be a cute little tennis outfit and it's so warm today cycle shorts definitely needed I then have some little Monica Veneta hoops in which I'm really enjoying I think I've showed you guys these ones before they're so nice just like really simple really nice for when I'm not wearing like too much makeup and I just have my hair in a pony and then I've just got slippers on right now but I did have my Nike trainers on with this and some Adenola socks for my walk. And yeah, just got my Apple Watch on and that is it. So I'm gonna change now, get into something that I can get tan on because this is not that. Okay, we are in the bathroom. I'm going to start off with the Saint Tropez Self Tan Luxe Tan Tonic Drops. As you can see, I really like this product. I'm starting off with this because I like to wash my hands after I've applied it. So order of application needs to be face, then body. When I was using the mist, I could kind of do one or the other, it didn't really matter, but you really need to wash your hands after using this. And my skincare routine in the morning is as follows. I wash my face, I just do a single cleanse in the morning, normally with the Emma Hardy cleansing balm um, at the moment. And then I go in with some of the Sarah Chapman Skin Assist Intense Hydrating Booster, or I use the Elizabeth Arden capsules. So some days I use the Elizabeth Arden Hyaluronic capsules as well. They're really nice under makeup, they give like, the most smoothing effect to the skin which i really love if i'm just like going makeup free whatever i like to use this one some days if i'm really not feeling great i'll use both and then i like to follow it up with the luxe tan tonic drops i literally use a full pipette on my hands pop it all over my skin like so I start off on the lower half of my face and then I move up onto my forehead. And this over the course of the day develops really, really beautifully. I also run it down onto my neck as well. In terms of getting the best out of this, what I like to do is at least once a week, I have a day where I make sure like I'm not going out, like I'm literally not going outside, not even to like take a bin out or anything like that so that I cannot wear my SPF for as long as possible because I find this works best when nothing else goes on 
over the skin like you can get the most noticeable results from it so i can use it every day and then put my spf on go for a walk all of that stuff and later on in the day it will start to look like very naturally sun kissed but if you're looking to have a more noticeable result pop it onto your skin and then don't apply your spf just for a couple of hours whilst you're at home do not go out without spf on where possible especially if you use skincare with lots of active ingredients like i do like most of the time i like to wear spf when i'm at home but just when i'm really trying to get this to develop so like for example with holiday prep i really like to leave it on my skin undisturbed for as long as possible so whilst i'm putting my tan on this afternoon is like the perfect time and then before i go play tennis this evening i will pop spf on over the top of this product and we'll be all good and as you can see it's given a really lovely glow and that's one of the things i love about this is that it's not just a fake tan product it has really nice skincare ingredients in it as well and it does give the most gorgeous glow to my skin it's meant to like plump reduce fine lines and all of that stuff it has hyaluronic acid in it vitamin e it also has niacinamide in it as well so there's loads of really great skincare ingredients in this which help contribute to this glow i love it so much as you can tell because i'm literally going through it at the speed of light over the past month i've been using it so regularly especially because we've been on holiday and i've been wanting to get that like lovely sun kissed holiday glow but without sunbathing or anything like that and my face just doesn't tan in the same way that my body does i have had fat 50 on all over whilst I've been going out in the sun and for some reason my body really does pick it up and I literally was like sat in the shade for most of my holiday as well even Ryan said he was surprised at like the lack of sun exposure that I actually get when I'm on holiday but this I found really good at giving a really long lasting really even tan to my face like I really struggle with certain areas of my forehead either going a bit patchy or whatever it's just always been a thing but this actually gives the best best color and it distributes so evenly it's so beautiful so i've been really really happy with the results from that now i'm going to move on to my body tan today i'm going to go for the saint tropez luxe whipped cream mousse this is the new and improved formula it smells so good and the color of this is gorgeous and what i really love about this is that it's a one hour to four hour like leave on the skin time the color will start to develop from like eight hours onwards depending on your skin type depends on like whether it's eight hours nine hours ten hours some people get different results from it but i love this because you can leave it on your skin for one hour and get like just a little hint of color or for the full dose you can leave it on for four hours but it's still such a short period of time to leave it on your body and uh, i love that because it just makes it like on a day like today it makes it really easy to incorporate in my routine even though i've got stuff on so it is 12 past 11 i'm going to apply this leave it on for the full four hours wash it off go to tennis everything's going to be great and i don't have to worry about having this on whilst i'm at tennis and then like if i sweat for example it can kind of like maybe leave a streak and like the tan tonic drops this has niacinamide hyaluronic acid vitamin e in it all of that good stuff so it's really hydrating and plumping on the skin as well so i give it a good old shake and i start with my chest i don't know why i like to start in the middle work my way out i've used way too much you do not need to use this much remember less is more <laughs> when you're pumping it onto the mitt it's not the end of the world it always buffs in really nicely that amount that i used was basically for my shoulders and my chest as well which obviously i can't show me blending out because i will be demonetized okay doing my arms it's going better this time <laughs> i've used the right amount of product and i just like to apply in a like streaking motion and blend upwards towards my shoulders i also use the excess to start doing my back and then with the tiny amount that's left over on my mitt i just do around my wrists really lightly to make sure that we're going to get a good blend and then i do my hands at the end once my hands are no longer needing to be in the mitt because otherwise all you're doing is putting a fake tanned hand into your mitt and you're going to put your other hand into the mitt and then you're going to need to wash the palms of your hand because otherwise there's just going to be product everywhere from the inside of the mitt so it just avoids transfer to do that at the last stage and then i throw the mitt in the wash and don't have to worry about the product on the inside of it but yeah as you can see that color is delish so again swiping up 
towards my shoulders I go under my arms as well down towards my torso it's just so hard to do this without flashing you and once that's all on the skin I just go over and make sure it's blended really nicely so I've pretty much done all I can do with you <laughs> without being very naked so I am actually gonna go do the rest of my body now and I'll be back with you shortly okay tan is on legs are brown it was really awkward to do i am the most unflexible person ever and i am just tanning my hands i've done one this one i'm just doing this one and i like to just use the excess that is on my mitt and i like do a kind of little subtle claw action and i just brush over do the sides wrists again just to make sure it's all blended really well and because we're only using the excess product it just looks so natural it doesn't look like you've like fully fake tanned your hands when it develops and i also use the same technique for my feet as well and i find it gives really great results the hands like look a little bit dark now but when it's like developed it's like perfect and it looks really natural same for the rest of my body you can get this kind of color with it but like i said i just want like a natural glow what i do is i'll exfoliate just kind of every couple of days it doesn't have to be like daily but for me i've got a week until i go i want at least one exfoliation between now and then and then i'll do another layer of tan that will literally just be like the one hour it doesn't need to be like the full four hour shebang like i said i just want like a natural little dose of glow but like nothing too crazy i also try and spend minimal time in the pool as well just because the chlorine i find really affects like your skin and then i'll also use for the most part where i can spfs that aren't like super oily like so an oil free spf is like ideal favorite spf at the moment is the ultraviolet spf 50 but yeah going on holiday with just this little bit of glow it means that i can just like sit in the shade i don't feel pressure to tan which i don't know if i should talk about this but as someone whose skin is very reactive to the sun like i could spend five minutes out in the sun and i would have like a tan line i got a lot of praise growing up for getting a tan and it still happens now it's one of those things where it like makes you want to get a tan when you're on holiday but now i know that that's not great for you so i'm kind of trying to counteract it by using my saint Tropez and then i go on holiday slather myself in spf 50 stay in the shade as much as i can obviously my skin like i said is super reactive so it does just pick up anyway it just means i don't feel like the need to sit in the sun on holidays that makes sense trying to have a responsible conversation about tanning whilst also being realistic to like what i've been brought up kind of being praised for but i like to do this before i go away just so i don't feel the need to tan when i'm on holiday and i can just limit my sun exposure slather myself in spf 50 and hopefully by the time i am old and grey i will still look like a youthful little bean because i've been slathering myself in spf 50 for my younger years about to jump in the shower and wash my body tan off but i thought i would quickly show you how my skin is looking so you can probably see a slight difference from this morning my face is kind of marrying up with my body just slightly better and obviously this will not be this color once i rinse off but my face is just kind of like showing some warmth that helps it to blend with my body and later on it will just be a fraction darker it's nothing like super dramatic but it will have a really nice glow but i wanted to show you now in daylight because i'm just not sure what the lighting is going to be like by the time i get home later but i think you can see there's like a noticeable difference and tomorrow once i've done my third day of application i'll show you what it's like compared to two days ago when i was like completely bare and had exfoliated everything off but yeah i think you can kind of tell it gives some warmth to the skin without looking like i've really Put fake tan on so i'm going to wash my body tan off apply sunscreen because i also wanted to show you this without the sunscreen because it generally tends to have a slight white tint to it so that's obviously going to bring it down a little bit i wanted to show you before i did that as well so yeah showering off applying my sunscreen and then we need to go because i don't want to be there when we're going to play tennis it's because if we go to nando's after we always see someone we know 
every time. And I'm done with it happening. I'm really looking disheveled. So that is the general gist of like my tanning routine for this summer. It's actually very easy and low maintenance. I feel like I always make it sound way more complicated than it actually is. But I will pop all of my like before and afters magically on screen here so that you can see. But yeah, I am excited to go on a holiday being a glowy little bean. I'm very excited to go to tennis now, so I need to get ready. So this is my little tennis outfit of the day. I've got a hoodie in my bag, which is my Anine Bing hoodie. Got my Balenciaga bag, same aloe set as this morning. My white sort of sunnies, because I'm driving. And then we've got Adenola socks and Nike trainers. Speaking of trainers, these just arrived from ASOS. How cute are they? I'm so excited to try these on tomorrow. Hey chimps, I'll see you in a bit. Love you. <laughs> You ready to beat me? You beat me? As I've, no, I've never beat you. I am terrible You've at this. You've actually played a game yet. <laughs> no, because I know none of the rules. Fantastic weather for it though. I'm absolutely buzzing about this. Love that I packed a hoodie, thinking Whoa. I might be cold. Right, here we have the 10 Keepy Uppy Challenge, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, first time, that's too easy. That was good, I think. I don't know if any of that will have come across on camera, but I have marginally improved since we last came here, so that's good. I only almost hit someone once. <laughs> and it wasn't Ryan. We are home. We actually went and had a Nando's. I forgot to vlog it. As I do every time we go to Nando's, I basically am always so hungry after tennis that I all vlogging goes out the window. I had an imitator wrap and some peri peri chips and some broccoli. My go-to order. Oh, and some olives. But yeah, we were going to get snuggled up and watch Love Island now. So I will see you guys tomorrow. How glorious is my skin looking, by the way? Yeah, I need to take my makeup off, get ready for bed, snuggle up, watch Love Island. So I will see you guys in the morning. Happy bye. needed to pick up a needle and thread because I was unboxing a Zara order. One of my items actually like a little button like popped off of it, which I know really I should just send it back and be like, no, this is not good. But I really like the dress. So I was like, I should get like a needle and thread kind of stuff anyway. So pop to the shop to get that. I will take you through the Zara order by the way, because there's so many really nice bits. We'll sit down and do that in a bit. I also treated myself to, this is not an ad, like this is gonna look like such an ad the way I've like just done this, but I also treated myself to some, what is this, like fabric softener. The scent of this is strawberry and lily and it is amazing. Whilst I was in Tesco, I was like, I'm gonna get this because my brother and his girlfriend recommended it and it's so good. Well, they didn't recommend it. They were in their kitchen and they were like, this smells so good. And I was like, let me smell. And I was like, damn, yeah, that smells incredible. I need something. I also got a diffuser from Next whilst I was passing. And uh, I have to say, I'm pissed, like low key pissed. They still don't have Bath and Body Works in my Next. It's really annoying me because I wanna go and smell all of the things, but they did have a vanilla and cocoa bean diffuser and 
don't know why Zara are doing this to me. I think they hate me. Zara Home have like taken off all of their good, like all of the elite tier fragrances that they did. It's so annoying. Not even just the salty caramel one because that's obviously seasonal, but they've also taken off their like signature scent as well. There's like a one and a two and they're just incredible. They've taken those off. So I now like the scents of my home have been discontinued and now I need to find like new things. It smelled nice in the store, it didn't smell as strong as the others, but vanilla never does. So I'm interested to see how I get on with this. Yeah, it's nice. It's not as strong as the salty caramel, but I'll take it. So I've got my Zara bits here. I'm gonna show you them now. Also, I wore my new trainers out this morning and yes I did leave the laces like this because I actually just forgot to deal with them before I left the house. But they are so comfortable. I've had this style before in a very light pink and I found them so uncomfortable that I had to give them to a friend. But actually these feel completely different. Like the back still comes up really high but it's a lot softer and it doesn't sit as high as the other pair. So I'm really really happy with them and I think they're so cute. Obviously my socks don't match but I was just all over the place this morning. So yeah, very happy with them. Okay, so first thing I got from Zara is this top. I am obsessed with it. I love the color. It works so well. Oh my god, the seagulls are so loud. Honestly, they're menaces. They're actual menaces. They sit on my roof and peck the skylight at like ridiculous o'clock in the morning. It goes really nicely with my little Jacquemus bag. I love it. I'm so happy with it. It is very, very cropped, but I really like it. And I really wanted to add like a pop of color into my t-shirt collection. I really didn't have anything that felt like super sweet and summery. And it was kind of bugging me a little bit. I love all of my neutrals for like the fact that they are so timeless. I just wear them on repeat over and over and over again, but I love this equally. It's so cute. And then I also have these jeans which have like big rips in the knees. I've cut them down. So if you're five foot two, don't jump for joy just yet. I did cut these down, but they were raw hem anyway. So it really works. I basically now always only look for raw hem Zara jeans because you can just cut them down and alter them so easily. I absolutely love it. Yeah, and I really like these just for them being a bit more casual. I don't know if I'd necessarily wear these jeans and this top to be honest, but yeah, I really wanted something like a little bit more casual that I could just wear with like a plain body and it just looked like comfy cash but kind of chic next up we have this top i wasn't sure if it was a little bit twee and a bit too cute and girly for me but i really like a corset top and with my kind of high-waisted more straight-legged jeans i've been feeling like i could really do with something that is a little bit tighter on top and a bit more feminine to counteract the kind of like looser bottoms and this was just a really nice option for like i went for a sunday lunch and i wore this with my friends and it just felt so cute and so appropriate and like I'd really made an effort, but with minimal effort and just felt a little bit more exciting than like a plain body. So yeah, it's really, really cute. And again, looks really nice with the pink Jacquemus bag as well. And feels really feminine and summery, but I can still wear like some baggier jeans on the bottom and that feels like my comfort zone. And I really like that. Next up, I'm not sure on this item. <laughs> I have bought a pair of low-waisted jeans and I already think I hate them. Not because of necessarily how they look, but practically what do you do when you want to eat like i don't i didn't know i felt too naked this is weird why do people ever have their belly buttons out i mean also why did we ever pierce our belly buttons it's weird it's just weird i'm just not sure this was something that should have ever come back also if you are entertaining the idea of low-waisted i sized up in these because i just wanted a bit more room i got a size six as well and they're just not as comfortable so i went a size up so that i had a bit more room to kind of like chill in them and then i can also wear them lower on my hip as well because they actually want to sit up here like that but i have to pull these low-waisted things down because i have like no torso so things don't sit where they actually sit on the models let me know what you guys think are you into low-rise jeans let me know i will style this up on my tiktok so go over there if you want to see it it'll probably be in like a zara haul or something i also got this dress and it's gonna have to be a no from me dude this is doing absolutely nothing for me so Okay, so I'm not really planning on wearing these two items together, but actually I'm not mad about it. It kind of, kind of works. I'm not sure. So we've got this top on, which is actually a swimsuit. It's a bit wavy for a swimsuit, but I thought it could be really cute if there are like pool party kind of vibes coming up this summer. It's kind of cute. I wasn't sure whether these were meant to cross over. I've just kind of crossed them over. Can't remember how the model wore it. But I've also paired it with this little white skirt. Side note, if Zara could bring back the score of, when was it, 2000 and 2012? 
you know the score even the sims have that score the one with a little like half diamond shape here i love those i live for those i would still wear those now they were one of the best items in my wardrobe i actually wish that i'd never thrown them out i'm really happy for scorts to be a thing again so they've done this little white set love it absolutely love it i've just thrown it on with this top i don't know if it actually goes but just in the interests of showing you all of this in the most convenient way possible here we are so yeah this is the swimsuit without a score what do we think i'm really on the fence i think because my hips are bigger and the ruffle goes down so low it's just not really doing too much to be flattering for me so i might pass on this one but i feel like this would be such a fun one to double as like a body throughout the summer but maybe not one for me okay what do we think of this it's such a different vibe to a lot of what i've been wearing recently but i really like a long sleeve white dress and this one is a lot more no frills than others that i've had in the past i've actually listed a lot on depop because they've got like these huge frills i clearly have an issue with the shoulder frill and i should just learn my lesson because that swimsuit was exactly the same and i was like oh this is too much and my previous little white summer dresses a lot of them had shoulder frills which is a shame because i had a white one that i loved but it's just got a bit too much going on on the sleeves but this one is like basically the same but without the frill on the sleeves so i think it could be a really nice one to have i just really like it i like the v-neck it's got little cuffs on the sleeves but they're not like too much nothing is too puffy like there's a hint of a puff sleeve it's just a very classic cut and it's a really good length i really like it if you're taller and you have longer legs this would also look incredible but yeah it's a really lovely kind of broderie and glaze dress it's not too see-through i'm actually not wearing a bra under this and actually it's fine. I've just popped it on with my YSL tribute tribute sandals. I think that's what they are. These are the tan ones that I have that I've had forever. And I think this would be really lovely both with the tan flats, with like my Fendi sliders, just with any nude neutral pair of sliders. Yeah, I really like it. What do we think? I just need to like stare at myself for a little bit to make sure it's definitely flattering. I always struggle when there's like a lot of material going on around here. I think it's okay. It's floaty summary oh my god is this not so stunning this is the dress that i had to go out and get needle and thread for because the button came off the sleeve sleeve forgetting my words <laughs> you know it's coming up to lunchtime when i forget my words this is stunning stunning i have this in white i love it i saw it in the bright pink this is fast becoming one of my favorite colors to wear i wore this color for my birthday i absolutely love it and this is more of a summery version of that dress i just think it is so stunning it's so nice for just like date nights friends birthdays any kind of like half special occasion i would wear this it's really lovely it works really nice with a flat as well as with a heel the length of it is really nice for me if you are taller and you don't like short dresses then this is going to probably not be your cup of tea but if you like a shorter dress or if you're a girl that's more on the short side you're gonna love this because i think it hits at like the perfect point on my leg and is just like so flattering i absolutely love it it's just gorgeous would i need boob tape to kind of maintain this situation yes absolutely do i think it's worth it yes absolutely just love it i just think these dresses are a really lovely easy piece to wear so yeah i'm a big fan i also have this in like a black linen as well which i need to dig out because that did not get enough wear last summer so we're going to bring that back this year and finally i thought the color of this was amazing but i'm not sure how good it looks on me i think the kind of like design is so cool i'm just not really sure it's like giving much for my figure i think if this had been available in white i would have maybe preferred it now actually i take that back maybe in black but maybe not maybe it's just not hitting my waist a particularly flattering point i don't know you're getting a dinner montage tonight i hope you all enjoy it just got back from a walk and it is 
hot today. I actually realized that I hadn't ended this vlog. So I thought I would say goodbye quickly now. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing like everything I've been up to this week. My little Zara haul, some shopping for summer, some summer skin routine, a little bit of everything in this vlog. I really wasn't sure what to call it. Nala says bye too. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this vlog and I will see you again on Thursday for a new one. Love you, bye.